Okay, so uh, in this uh, lecture, I want to just talk about the aldol reaction, um, which is a, a really important reaction in terms of all the enolate work that you have been covering in your course so far. Um, the most simple example of an aldol reaction is uh, is this: is to take uh, acetaldehyde, uh, which is a very simple uh, aldehyde, and to treat it with uh, base. And the product that we get, the initial product, I just watch out here because we're going to uh, develop this a little bit further. Um, the initial product that we get is this over here, which is known as aldol. And this is where the name of the reaction comes from. Uh, you don't need to uh, know the name of the structure, um, but it's, it's quintessentially the aldol reaction, which actually encompasses a lot of different types of reactions along this uh, line. It all boils down to this type of reaction that's occurring over here. Uh, and it actually addresses one of the issues which you have been told about but might not be 100% familiar with, and that is what was known as the aldehyde problem um, when forming lithium uh, or forming enolates, could be a lithium enolate uh, as an example. Uh, and the problem is this, is that when a base reacts with an aldehyde, our initial uh, intermediate is the enolate, which would look like this over there. So we deprotonate alpha-2, the carbonyl, and we form this enolate intermediate. And what you have seen so far in your course is that we use these enolates and enolate equivalents to alkylate in some way. So you've been reacting it with different alkyl halides or maybe a conjugate, um, conjugated system where we do a 1-4 addition. Um, but here in this part of the, the course, we're going to start using carbonyls, um, in this case an aldehyde, as the uh, electrophile because aldehydes are actually fantastic electrophiles. And so the enolate can react in its absolutely normal way um, and in this case it reacts with itself to form this product over there uh, obviously all that's missing is the protonation step so um, we get the negative charge there this is the new bond that was formed and this is the product. Okay, so just notice here, there is our new bond that was formed uh, in that step. And all we need to do is, of course, protonate. Um, uh, and that can come from, obviously, in the deprotonation, we form water. So this thing can pick up uh, a proton from water and go back. Notice, actually, an important aspect of aldol reactions is that this is actually just catalyzed by the addition of water of um, hydroxide because the hydroxide that deprotonates it forms water but at the end of this reaction we uh, regenerate the hydroxide which can go back into this reaction so this is a, a really important um, uh, simple uh, step to uh, to understand um, the reaction itself um, however under these kind of thermodynamic conditions we're using a, a weak base and normally the temperature is just at room temperature something like that. however it doesn't tend to stop here uh, it actually tends to go on again and does an elimination reaction to give you this product the unsaturated uh, aldehyde that looks like this, um, which of course in this reaction could be problematic because this itself could react again. Um, but nevertheless, uh, this uh, elimination reaction is very, very, very typical for uh, aldol products, which is a alpha beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. Uh, and the elimination um, mechanism under basic conditions uh, is known as uh, E1CB, which stands for Elimination Unimolecular Conjugate Base. So I just want to show you, because this is a really important different uh, um, mechanistic step, uh, you might be tempted to think that the mechanism of this all right, because we you can see going from there to there, we've eliminated water. It's, it's kind of like we have we've got our two protons there you might be tempted to say that the base that's present now um, 
will pick up this proton over there, and you might be tempted to say that the electrons would be given in and would kick out hydroxide, and that would give the product. Now, that would work from a mechanistic point. Showing this would be make sense in some respects. However, experimentally, it's been shown that this does not occur. Um, and the reason for that actually goes back to what we should already know, that to kick out water, to kick out an OH is an absolutely terrible leaving group. So what's more likely to happen is the base when it reacts with that is more likely to actually just delocalize into uh, this, uh, into the carbonyl. And so when that occurs, we get uh, the enolate being regenerated like that. Um, and this system, all right, is a little bit more stable, but this system can now collapse and kick out this unfavorable uh, leaving group, which is the hydroxide. And that leads to our unsaturated aldehyde in that respect over there. Okay, so this is just an important thing. It's, it's one of those little tricks in organic chemistry uh, that elimination of water is a really difficult thing to do under basic uh, conditions. And E2 elimination, that would be if I picked up the H and then just kicked in the electrons and then kicked out o, uh, OH minus, not uh, preferred. Um, however, because of this carbonyl, what actually happens is we pick up the protons, we form the enolate, and that does this elimination mechanism over there. Okay, uh, the aldol reaction, by the way, I've shown here is basically 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 catalyzed by base, uh, but the aldol reaction can also be catalyzed by an acid. So um, here I'm not going to use a um, an aldehyde, but I'm going to use a ketone because that's absolutely fine. Uh, so if I take this ketone and I treat it with some acid and just cook it up for uh, a bit, the product that I would get would look like this over here and you can see that we have there's the new bond that's been formed over there and what I want you to do uh, with this um, is to, to just look at that is I want you to just consider how that would happen you can go and look in your textbook what is the mechanism of this happening remember we're under acid conditions do not deprotonate anywhere so first of all we'll probably form an enol um, which can then react with the, uh, the ketone. But also, this elimination over here cannot be E1CB, and that is because we don't have any base present. So over here, this elimination you're going to find will actually um, occur uh, via an E1 mechanism. So go and try that out uh, for yourself and see if you can get that to work.